Well, a new bill in North Carolina could change how police body camera footage is released. A section of a new bill recently passed by the Senate is calling for police to release video five days following a police involved incident. This comes after a court order allowed Andrew Brown Jr's family to see only 19 minutes of body camera footage weeks after Pasco Tank County deputies shot and killed him. Anne Sparaco spoke with state leaders to learn more. We took an opportunity to try to get some positive movement forward. A justice reform bill is gaining momentum after receiving bipartisan support on the North Carolina Senate floor. One of the amendments to the bill calls for the release of body camera video of a police involved incident where someone is killed or seriously injured. If this circumstance were to occur, they would go to the local law enforcement entity and the entity would be mandated to provide a, a viewing within five days. And not just a snippet, but the full unredacted uh, video they will be required to show the family. State Senator Ben Clark says it's a step in the right direction in wake of Andrew Brown Jr.'s case. Unfortunately, we're not able to go back and undo what has transpired for them. But should this happen in the future, I, I think they should uh, be, take solace in the fact that uh, they would not have to relive this experience uh, or anyone who would be in their shoes in the future. The judge ordered Brown's family and attorneys could only see 19 minutes of two hours worth of video. Clark says this bill may not directly impact the Andrew Brown Jr. case in time, but he hopes it will help future cases similar to this one. Ultimately, we do believe, many of us believe, that there should be full disclosure of the entire video made as quickly as possible, not only to the family, but to the media and anyone with a valid interest in uh, seeing it. The bill is on its way to the House for a vote, and Clark hopes it'll get approved before their July recess. And Sparaco for 13 News Now. And Clark says if the police department wants to either redact or withhold any video, they must submit a, peti a petition to the court, I should say. A judge will then decide whether or not to allow it. And